Times best-selling author, Laura Caldwell. Laura Caldwell is here. She's a law professor from Loyola University, uh, Chicago Law School. The only reason I stand in front of you today and I have written at all or I've written a book or I've represented this man is because of just small choices. You've done a lot of thrillers following the adventures of Izzy McNeil. I've read your books. They're, they're amazing. But then this most recent one is more of a personal story. He's yeah. a good kid from a bad neighborhood who ended up um, getting arrested uh, for murder. It was a fight that ended in someone dying. But he was innocent and upon getting out he had nothing. His family had sold or given away all of his belongings. He had been in for cell phones and for the internet. He didn't know, he literally didn't know what Google was. I never thought I would be a writer because I did not do well in it early on, but I took a class. So I made a small decision to take a novel writing class. I started working on a book called The Rome Affair. I've got two detectives in this book who are trying to force a woman and her husband to say they murdered their friend. They put you in a room and the conditions create nothing but despair. In Javon's case, he was uh, chained to a wall. And I called a lawyer I knew and I said, hey, does this ever happen? Does somebody ever falsely confess to a crime? You know, especially a big crime like murder. And I'll never forget, she said, oh honey, it happens all the time. You're a lawyer, you're a novelist, a successful fiction writer who stumbled across one of the most powerful stories you had ever heard, and the problem was it wasn't fiction. Laura Caldwell is here. She's a law professor from Loyola University. She started the Life After Innocence Project in January of 2009, along with her law students. We help Illinois exonerees after they've been found innocent to everything from uh, get their records expunged, find housing, learn computer skills, and then we work with the legislature to try and hopefully have as much services for the innocent as there are currently for ex-offenders. All these tiny things in my life have led to this and I really don't want to like shut it down and sign off and be like and then that's it. I kind of want to keep making small decisions and see what happens next.